Hello everyone and welcome to the Christmas special of Airline UK Freakouts. Coming up today, we've got an angry man from Poland who can't fly his presents home to his girlfriend's family, a throwback with a full freakout from an old airline classic, and to finish, although not really a freakout, we're going to be having a look at the famous EasyJet Christmas party where a drunk Leo is going to be making moves to win back his ex, Mel. We've got hundreds and thousands of passengers today and for the next few days travelling out with lots of baggage. Uh, we're expecting lots of problems. Uh, but yeah, I love Christmas, it's really exciting. And it's not long before the first problem of the day manifests itself in the form of a little old Scottish lady. You need to get My daughter's you need to waiting for me! You need to get back to Scotland. Oh, and it's a sad start. Oh. Oh, yes, sorry. Okay then, maybe not. Azetta Gould was meant to travel home to Aberdeen and see her daughter on Christmas Day, but too much of the festive spirit caused her to fall over trying to board her flight and she's been offloaded. Absolutely right. Cheers, mate. Quite, quite verbally violent as well. Thank it's you. Quite good fun. <laughs> Cheers. It's up to St. Leo to rescue the situation. Okay. That's, that's mine. Yep. Yeah. I want to get home 500 miles away to Aberdeen. I am fed up. I'm fed up! With okay. you, what? I had, I had only two whiskies, right? This yep. silly s thought I was blasted. Two yep. whiskies with ice. Just unfortunate because you, you are showing signs that you have been drinking quite a lot. Yes. That's why, for your safety. I'm 75 years Sorry. old. I can't drink. So. What is it we can do to help you now? Get me in touch. Jimmy Sixton. He's beautiful. Jimmy Sixton. And as for you, love, you can I want a cigarette. I'm dying for a cigarette. Right. I don't want to drink. drink well, wait here a minute. I'll show you somewhere where you can. I want a cigarette. I, I don't I want a... <laughs> I'm going to need one after this. She is absolutely steaming. People do tend to drink a little bit more around the festive period. Accidental Brent. I was a little bit drunk. <laughs> Her personality keeps changing. One minute she's really nice, then she gets really aggressive. So we can't put someone like that on board an aircraft. I think she's in great form, but even though her daughter still wants her to travel, her son-in-law Mick has put his foot down. Yeah. OK, so rather than Scotland, we'll get her in a taxi there. My son-in-law has decided um, get her on a taxi and take her back to her house. But my friends and little Urchus are, as you say, Hi, Zeta. What the hell have you been playing at? Luton Airport is at its busiest. The people and we will miss the flight. That's all I'm asking. And Polish passenger Panais Pavos isn't happy. He's got his girlfriend's bag, but she's boarding a flight to Krakow and EasyJet aren't letting him skip the queue to get it to her on time. I want to board into Athens, to the plane to Athens, all right? Can you yeah. just help me so that I will check in? But you have to go and give her hand luggage. You have to wait with everybody else. But I'm a special case. Why should I give her hand luggage? Don't you understand? You see the problem. What the problem is? Why don't you help me out to check in before these people so I'm going and give her the hand luggage? Panais and his girlfriend Elizabeth arrived in Luton on a delayed Edinburgh flight. She managed to check in on time for her flight to Krakow, but only because Panais stayed behind to collect her bags. A little bit more understanding, please. We can't this delay an aircraft. But maximum. I didn't ask. I don't ask you to delay aircraft. I just ask you to check in me first. Before the queue. Panais is on his way to Athens. If he can check in quickly, he can get his bag to his girlfriend. But because of security, EasyJet won't let him jump the queue. I usually do side with EasyJet when it's the passenger's fault, but because of the delayed Edinburgh flight, I, I think this is a bit harsh from Leo. Just because of the formality, you're not letting me give her uh, her baggage for this formality. Yeah, we, we but why it. don't you understand? I will just give her a hand luggage. It's my problem. I will take it anyway to Athens if I don't meet her. But it's too late. We're not going to be able to rush you through the process in that time. Okay, okay. what is your name? I'll write it down for yes, you. Yes, thank you very much. Leo Jones. Yep. All right, can I see it on your identity card? If you wish. I wish. I've okay, got no reason to lie to you because everything I'm saying is correct. I'm not saying that it's not correct. Okay. I'm just saying to skip the formalities, not skip the security process, skip only the formalities and let me give you a hand The hand formality luggage. is you, you have to queue here and then there'll be a queue again. It's just because you are British and you want me to queue, I will not give you a hand luggage. To be fair, we might get a lot of things wrong, but we bloody love to respect the queuing system in this country. For God's sake! Hey. Happy Christmas. So Panais was unable to reunite his girlfriend with her bag. 
And this is why it was so important. It's all the presents, all the presents for her family. And I will go now, this is nothing can be done. She will never, she will never get the presents in the other place at times. So what will I do? Before we move on to the next freak out, I just want to add in this little clip I found of the EasyJet staff having a bit of Christmas fun with a can of aerosol. Everyone's having a laugh and then you've just got Ebenezer Scrooge's daughter sitting in the middle of it all. That ridiculous little cough is so unnecessary. Booty <laughs> bitch. Anyway, back to the freak outs. All right, so next up, we're going to be going back to check out the full story from a clip from all the way back in episode one. A badmouthed bad man called Francis Bediaco wants to spend Christmas with his girlfriend in Aberdeen, but EasyJet have changed their policy on payments and are no longer accepting cash. I want to buy a ticket, yeah? And they're telling me that all they can pay with credit card. And they, they never give me no, nobody no warning. To be fair, it doesn't justify him being abusive, but that is silly. Just before Christmas to change the policy on payment and all of a sudden stop accepting cash, they really should have at least waited till New Year. You gotta move the f from your front. Tell me about EasyJet. How the f is it easy for sports that only have credit card? Huh? How the f is it called EasyJet then? We aren't allowed to book tickets even on the day so where does that with say, cash where does it say or a this? credit where card. In the does it say this? And then uh, my boss said it's no because it's a new system you now. So okay. we can't you bend the do? rules. I've asked if I can do it. No, I language. Me and shut up before a box in your mouth, man. I want to see the manager. Manager will come to you. Make your point. Talk about EasyJet. Correct. Or so we thought. Despite being really abusive, in light of the festive season, Supervisor Mary Hosier steps in. Okay, on this occasion, sir, I've had it authorised by our manager to do oh, you a cash, cash yeah, payment, I've... but in future you'll have to know we don't actually do cash payments anymore. So why can't you tell people that before? Well, I, didn't, I never knew this. We don't have many cash sales so at all now. Do you want me the to country? do this for you, yeah. sir? Because the flight closes in five minutes. Um, right, that was seventy pounds then, sir. Okay, so fair play to EasyJet. They bent the rules to get in the ticket, but the whole thing took so long that the check into Aberdeen's closed. Excuse me. You know where the woman's going? Where? Where are you supposed to sit here? Well, are you on a flight? Yeah, I want to check in. For what flight? Aberdeen. I think Aberdeen is closed now. No, they said I could check in. Adam? They said I can check in. We'll have a meeting with the manager because this is just too sudden for them at Christmas. We should have started after Christmas. I think they should have done as well. Excuse me, what you need to do is go over to the sales desk and see Mary, she's the supervisor, because it's actually closed. She'll be the only one that can want it. Before too long, he's paying the sales desk a second visit. Yeah, I've sorted it, don't yeah. worry, before you start so shouting at me again. Hello, right. can we accept two okay. mails for the Aberdeen? Cheers for the confirmation number. Please say yes, please, please, please. And a little bit of begging does the trick. Francis is finally on his way. When you get abuse like that, he really shouldn't have gone. It's defeating the object. You've got to stick by the rules if you're going to make them. And it makes us, it makes us look a little bit incompetent, right from the manager, supervisor, right down to us on the, on the desk. Last up, as promised, given it's the Christmas episode, I thought I'd add in the bit of Leo getting drunk at the EasyJet Christmas party. At EasyJet, we put on huge Christmas parties. It's not like any other company I've ever worked for before. They are big, they're massive, and everyone does make a huge effort. And the theme is like a mask ball. So all the ladies have to have little masks. Uh, so I don't really know what we're supposed to have, but I thought I'd best make an effort and, and do smart. It's not just a regular Christmas party for Leo, though. Tonight, he's got his eyes set on winning back his ex. Been going out for about four months. It's been quite stressful because she's just been promoted. She works for EasyJet as cabin crew. Uh, so she's been promoted and we've had a bit of a Barney the last couple of days. So I'm hoping it with the festivities and a little bit to drink, it might be on the upside and, and we might get back together, hopefully. Thank you, Thank you very, much. very much. The next part of this clip takes place in a loud club. So I'm going to leave Tony Robinson to take the main stage with the original voiceover. In London, Leo's arrived at the ball <laughs> and is relying on good old Dutch courage to help him win back his ex-girlfriend, Mel. <laughs> One thing's for certain tonight, there won't be an inch of easy jet orange in the house. Excellent. I was going to get a bow tie. I wish I would have done now. 
Leo's banking on his dapper new look impressing Mel. But it doesn't seem to be working yet. Leo met Mel only a couple of months ago, and um, Mel's obviously extremely beautiful, very lovely girl, and um, Leo said, I haven't got a chance, and I said, let's just go for it, and, and they, they hit it off. I've been Cupid for once. It's the last dance, and for Leo, it's mission accomplished. The suit seems to have worked a treat. I think it's an absolutely brilliant night, and everyone's having a really good time. Leo especially, obviously. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's lovely. It's a really excellent evening. This party has been excellent. They said it was only four, three, three drinks. <laughs> I've had ten. <laughs> It's been really good, and uh, I managed to smooth things out as well with Mel. So we're back together for Christmas. Oh, what a lovely happy ending. I don't know about you guys, but I wish Leo was drunk in all the episodes. What a great bloke. Anyway, that is the end of today's video. Thank you guys for watching this Christmas special. If you are new around here and you want to know when the next episode comes out, hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on. And whether you're subscribed or you're not, if you enjoyed watching, feel free to leave a like down below. And hopefully I'll see you in the next video. Also, just for everyone who's asking, the links to my Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Facebook and Discord will all be in the description. I'm following everyone back until I hit my following limit and my DMs are open. So if you've got any questions or you just want to come say hi, you know where to find me. I'll see you next time.